since I don't have good light where my heat press is, I'm gonna just show you on my craft table how I'm gonna layer this together and heat it in, in heat press it in two separate sections and make this sweatshirt design that I created out of one, two, three, four, five, six of the different strips in the Christmas sweatshirt creator bundle. Um, this is a lot of fun. So the biggest piece, uh, the most color is going to be white. So I cut that all out of one piece so I don't have to line them all up. And I'm gonna put that down and I'm gonna heat press that down first. After the white is pressed, I'm then going to layer my green holly my red hats and the red wine onto this. So there's two ways to go about cutting your colors. So you'll notice that the green, I kept on one sheet. So this came from one piece of vinyl. I did end up wasting quite a bit of vinyl. All of this could have been used for another project, but I'm just showing you how, what your choices are for lining it up. But since I thought I wanted to make sure that these edges got lined up perfectly, I thought I would just keep it the same. And then let me get my wine out of the way. So again, once the white is on, then I'm gonna line that up where it needs to go next to the holly, make sure it's straight, which it's not at the moment. It's really hard when you're sticking onto that plastic. So I'm gonna place that. Then with the red, I was more cost efficient with my vinyl. I put the red wine and the red Santa hats really close to each other and then cut them into two strips because they're gonna be very easy to place individually because they both go with white borders. Because as you can see, you can barely see the red on the red sweatshirt, so you want it to have white around it. So then I'm just gonna place the line, line that up, and then I'm gonna take the hats and line that up. For the Santa hats and the Santa, I give you two different options of the files. One where just white will be on the inside and then one with the white outline. So if you want to do something on a red project, you can still use the Santa and the Santa hats and have them red because it's going to have a nice white outline like that. So then I just heat press it together and you can see how you can just layer. Another thing to note is the naughty, nice, naughty, nice. That file has two layers as well. I chose to get rid of the background layer so that my red sweatshirt just shows through as the words. If I wanted the words to be green with white, I would have just done an extra green layer. I wouldn't have deleted that back um, rectangle. I would have left it there. I would have cut it green with the holly and done it like that. I wanna start with a disclaimer that I don't actually own a Cricut, but I think this is how you're going to do it. So you're gonna start a new project. I've already uploaded the designs I wanna use. So I'm selecting them. And I'm inserting them and then I'm just going to organize them. Delete the backgrounds from the checkboxes because I'm going to put pretend I'm putting this project on white so I don't need them. I want these to be red. Okay, I want the words to be red so that they all go together. Okay, so now I'm going to pick all my red stuff. And I'm going to weld it so that that will cut at once. And then I'm going to do my green. I'm going to weld that. And then since it's going to be heat transfer, I'm assuming just like with mine, I need to flip it horizontally and then you're gonna cut it. So you just organize it. You just take these strips and you line them up and you organize them in whatever order you want. You could add your own text. You could put somebody's name. You could do these for an ugly Christmas sweater, sweatshirt party. You could do them just for fun. You could do them for gifts. So lots of ways to use these. I made them as versatile as possible so that you can um, have a lot of fun with it. A quick demo of how I do this in silhouette. This is what I have, but I am in by no means an expert. I just kind of hobble along. There could be a more efficient way. I do have the upgraded business edition so I can use SVG files. And off the screen, I have my files open that shows all my SVG files. So I'm just going to drag them onto my mat. So I'm going to start with the Santa hat. 
and I chose the Santa hat with the white outline because I'm going to put this onto a red sweatshirt. That's what I want to make. And then I'm just going to select them all and I'm going to align them, have them all centered. Now what I did was I went through and decided, okay, I need three colors because I'm using a red sweatshirt. I'm going to be doing mostly white and green and a little bit of red. Now each of these designs is a few layers. So the holly is obviously um, I'm just hitting ungroup is obviously green and red the wine has three different layers and I've decided I don't want the outline I'm going to use the white and then I'm going to use the red for the wine now the Nadia Nice has two layers and I'm going to show you so it has on the Nadia Nice I, I had the letters cut out of the box, but then I also gave you just a plain rectangle in the back. You can see it there in white. So if you wanted to put, say, green behind white, you could, but I'm just going to delete that because I just want, I'm going to make this white and I'm going to have the sweatshirt show through. Then we're going to ungroup that one. This is just one layer, the ho ho ho's. And then Santa hats are two layers it is the red and then it is the white. So now I have everything ungrouped and I'm going to select. So red berries aren't going to show up so we're going to make those white. That's going to be white, 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 and then the white border is going to be white. So all those things I'm going to have white. So I'm going to select them all, group them, and I'm going to make them brown. Because it doesn't matter what color you have them on here, when you cut them, they are going to be whatever vinyl you put in your machine. Because we're using heat transfer vinyl, we're going to need to flip it before we cut it. So I flipped it now. I'm going to select this brown that's going to be cut out of white vinyl. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to open a new file. I'm going to paste it. So that's going to be my white layers. Okay, I'm going to move that off to the side. Just so now I'm going to group my green. I'm going to copy and put them on a new layer. I'm going to move them to the top. And then I'm going to group my red. Actually, I'll just move them off to the side. So you can probably work from one thing and just move them on and off. But in the first video where I showed you how I set them up, I, I showed you two different ways to go about it. So the white you definitely want to cut so that it, everything is spaced out the way you want it on your sweatshirt or your project. The green and the red, you can decide. I did the green where I did it on one piece, so I lost one, two, three, four inches by 12 inches. Leave that out there. Four by 12 inches of vinyl, I pretty much threw away. Not the most efficient. So if I wanted to be more efficient and just put it on, um, like line them each up, I would just move this up here and I would cut like that. So I would only be using three inches instead of eight inches of vinyl. Much more cost effective way to go. And the same with the red. So I'm gonna ungroup that and I'm gonna move this wine up. And that's what I did in the original example. So then you're just going to outline and you're gonna cut each of those, weed them, and then put them on your sweatshirt. So lots of different ways to do it, but this is just the basics. You know, the main idea is that you're gonna go in, you're gonna select the rows that you want, organize them the way you want, and then split them into the different colors that you want to cut.